You know, if you look fast forward 10 years, I think we'll be betting on games live. Do you think there will be a time where fans at the arena can place a bet on who's going to score the next basket, who's going to win the tip off, who's going to get the next rebound? Are we going to get to that point? Absolutely. You know, you want regulation and you want it to be centralized and controlled. Um, and I, I think there's an opportunity for to improve fan engagement that way as well. When I look at the Sixers, think of two things, a trend setting organization and an organization that has a very high likability. We're okay stumbling and falling. We don't, we don't believe falling is failing. We believe falling gives us a chance to learn. And we're very much an organization that learns by trial and error and learns by taking risks. Philadelphia was born on innovation. I mean, we were kind of, we say we took on an empire in one in the 1700s. So much in the history and fabric and tradition of the city is about innovation and challenging authority and doing things differently. In terms of likability, I hope absolutely. In the past few years, there have been monumental trends in, in the sports business. What is the next frontier for the business of sports? What's the next big thing? When I was in college at Villanova, they talked about one-to-one -one marketing. Well, it, it's one-to-one -one marketing now. You know, something that we read about years and years ago. What some people will object to is, is I want you focused on the game, I want you focused on the game. I said, now I want you engaged in the Sixers world, and however you choose to engage. And if you just like listening to basketball on the radio in your car, we, we love you. If you're, if you're watching CSN, love you too. You want to come to our games, I love you. And I've got to, we as an organization have to figure out this insatiable demand for information about our players all over the world. I get more anticipation and, and goosebumps as the fans start to fill in. To me, the magic moments happen when, like, if a, if a kid, a big shot, a kid just looking at the expression on a kid's face, to me, lights me up forever. Um, what, what we can do to move uh, people, to move you for a night, and to actually move a city with, with success of this team, and sometimes failure of the team, is a, is a pretty huge obligation and weight on our shoulders that we take really seriously. But the, the flood of emotions that I go through during, during a game is, is almost, uh, <laughs> it's almost uncomfortable. Um, I do love it though. I, I love every bit of it. I, I, I cheer. I, I stand. If you ever watch me during a game, I'm up. I cheer during every point and every possession. Um, and, and it's personal. Like when you get to know the kids that play on the team and how hard they work and how much this means to them, uh, that makes it even more special. Could you imagine this team winning a championship? I dream, dream about it every day. And I, and I, think, I think about the parade down Broad Street. I think about like that guttural roar you hear. When this crowd gets going, there is nothing like it. I feel like a championship contending team takes over this entire region. It's not even a city. It's like this is a, this is a market that responds to a team. I long for that day. I cannot wait for that day to get here.